Hi, my name is Wayne Ariola with Parasoft, and I want to talk a little bit about service virtualization. Service virtualization is a complementary technology, and it should be, con could be considered in context of your broader test environment. Today, many organizations are considering building out or uh, investing in the hardware needed for a, st a staged test lab. This is costly has a high cost due to not only the hardware, the lab, the, the uh, air conditioning, the lights, the electricity, but also has an OPEX cost associated with it because the people needed in order to actually maintain the lab is, is a considerable investment. Now we've seen over the past few years, more so, that virtualization or server virtualization has distinctly assisted to drop the cost associated with the stage test lab. And there's been two components of this that is valuable to the organization. First of all, there's a lower hardware cost. And the second one is actually the configuration time needed to actually stage that, uh, which would, could be the, considered the alternative of the stage test lab. So the virtual test lab ha ha allows you to create a snapshot or an image in order to bring up a configuration. So there's also an, a value in terms of virtualization or service virtualization around configuration. So this has been a boon to the industry, saving really this much money as an illustration, uh, leveraging server virtualization. But there's an, another concept here. This other concept is called service virtualization. And service virtualization essentially lowers your costs significantly. Service virtualization, the line looks somewhat like this. Essentially, with service virtualization, you don't have to configure the entire application. You basically only configure the endpoints you need to test the dependencies for your application associated with the application under test. Service virtualization saves you a significant amount of money in terms of startup cost, saves you the hardware costs, and significantly reduces the configuration time needed to set up the dependencies in order to exercise that application under test. So service virtualization really has a low entry point but there becomes a time with service virtualization that you might want to consider other options in terms of the total life cycle. So in terms of a virtual test lab, if you do have access to an image or you do have access to an application's uh, software and you're able to license it and get your hands on it, you might want to consider using it depending on the breadth of functionality that you need access to. For applications where you need only small portions of the application, needed, maybe it's a third party app, maybe it's an API to another dependent application and you don't need the entire application in order to exercise your application under test, service virtualization fits perfectly. This is why it's a complementary technology. If you'd like more information around service virtualization, please go to www.parasoft.com slash virtualize. You can get a ton more information there. Thanks again.